Wait, so we have to say our age? Don't have to. Okay. All right. You're ready. Skip it. Oh, no, I'm totally fine. 53. <laughs> <laughs> My mom got sick with breast cancer um, when I was, like, four or five. And it was her dying wish to go back to Pakistan because um, she went through some very aggressive treatments. And if you have anybody in your life that's ever had cancer, like, you know, oftentimes the treatment is worse than the illness itself in many ways. So we moved back to Pakistan for a few years and um, I got to go to school there and kind of live with family. And, uh, you know, I remember um, my mom was so, so sick and I didn't really quite understand what that meant. Like, I remember when she was really going through chemo and it was really intense. Um, her hair was like falling out and she was losing a lot of weight. So to try and make it less scary for us, like every night she would let me and my brother pull out a handful of hair just to be like, it's not scary. Like, it doesn't hurt mommy. And, you know, I just like as an adult, like, you know, looking back and just thinking like, you know, she's going through intensive chemotherapy and she's probably feeling so sick and is like, you know, her husband's like running a business, like she's stuck with two kids all day. Like, you know, the fact that she took the time out to like make us feel less scared about her treatment, it just, I don't know, that kind of kindness like always resonated with me. That's one thing I kept thinking about when you were talking was, um, I was just imagining, you know, if something were to ha I have a three and a half year old son. So if something were to happen to me, that obviously it would be very catastrophic in his life, but I don't even think it would compare to if something were to happen to my wife, Dolores. I'm just picturing raising him without his mom yeah. and like how insanely tough that must have been for your dad. And then especially... I don't know, did you guys have like other family around to help out? So it was pretty much just him? Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, I I, I don't know how I would do that. I'd, just, I'd have to take him to a firehouse. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I mean, that's, you know, my dad, like coming back after that sort of traumatic loss had to try and find a way to pick up the pieces and move on. And as an adult, I can look back and just, you know, I'm just blown away by how well he handled it, you know? I know it's not easy to open up about yourself, so thank you for doing this. I yeah. really appreciate it. No problem. I mean, this this was pretty cool. I mean, even though we've known each other for so many years, like, it was, I really appreciated getting the opportunity to see a whole other side of you and to be able to, like, talk so seriously. I mean, I think this is probably a record for us to talk this long yeah. without making jokes. This is the longest we've gone without a fart joke, for sure. I know. See, we're growing up. <laughs> Perfect. I'm free.